Hi everyone and welcome to Morning Coffee Break. Hope everybody's alright this morning. Today's Sunday, July 3rd. Currently it's 76 degrees. High today's 86. 70% chance of rain. I'll still be surprised if it rains. It was 50% yesterday and never rained, like just like I said. It didn't rain a bit. Uh, humidity 79%. Winds are at three mile per hour, and air quality is 61, that's moderate. Um, today they'll be an Ask My Tablet. I did get it done, so it'll come out today, this afternoon. And uh, last night we had, well, first of all, uh, tomorrow is when we're giving away the prize pack. I've talked about it, talked about it, and I've gone over the rules a bunch of times, so I'm not going over the rules again. But uh, I showed yesterday everything that's in it, if you'd like to see it, in the in morning coffee break. There's the thumbnail from the video. Uh, that's a, a crazy good uh, prize pack, so I, I can't imagine that you wouldn't want, anybody wouldn't want to... Uh, to sign up for a chance for that you know so definitely sign up for it all you have to do is put hashtag Independence Day giveaway all one word in the comments and we'll be giving it away tomorrow evening uh, I don't think it'll be real late or anything but uh, so anyway I had pizza or we had pizza last night um, this will be on a upcoming uh, grocery outlet haul it's the totino's party pizza it come it came in a four pack in a box and it was i added some cheese pepperoni and uh oregano and it was turned out really 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 good i was surprised and there was four of them in there it took two there's like squares it took two for a meal so there's there's two meals enough for two times in there um, and for, for four forty nine, that's not really bad for two meals. Okay, let me get this. All right. Um, not for sure about tonight. What we're gonna have? Probably something like chicken nuggets. We were supposed to have that yesterday, and we ended up with pizza. But I never. I have a hard time remembering. I still haven't made my lit, my uh, menu, like uh, make a, a menu so I know what to put out to thaw out. I, I'm bad for not putting stuff to, you know, out to thaw. But, oh, that, that reminds me. And I need to do this right now. I need to get the steaks out for tomorrow. Hold on. Okay, I got them. I'm all bad about not putting stuff out, so I don't want to wait and mess up tomorrow. But they're, they came from Aldi, they're Black Angus Strip Steak, I guess New York Strip. Look at that, nice and, nice and thick. There's that one. I'm going to marinate these in Allegro. There's one. You like steak, Kitty? She likes frozen stuff, she'll, she likes to... Get back, honey. You can't can't come over here. So those are, like I said, nice and thick. Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna put them back up. Just thought I'd show you Allegro if you've never heard of it before. It's been around forever. I've been using this ever since. Kitty's going like that to it. Been using this stuff ever since we've been married. You know. <laughs> There's what it looks like. You can get it at Walmart. Uh, we actually like the hickory a little bit better, but when I got this one, they didn't have any hickory. I've got a bottle of hickory, but I want to use this first. But man, I tell you what, this stuff is fantastic for, especially for steaks or, or chicken. So I'll put this back up. I can't believe Kitty's up here and not, uh, not asleep right now. She, she's always asleep by now. So I'm not so sure about tonight, really. Probably something like chicken nuggets, like I said. Uh, weather permitting, uh, tonight they're having fireworks here. Um, we've not had a drought or anything, you know, and it's, it's, they've okayed it. 
So um, it's just right over the hill. We've, uh, you know, they used to have them year after year after year. Um, we just sit out here in our driveway. We can't see the very lowest ones, but any that go up high into the air, uh, we can see really good just sitting in our driveway. Um, used to, back in the day, we had a lot of people over, you know, every year and uh, had like a little, you know, get together and everything. But um, I'll, it, weather permitting, I hope it doesn't rain. Uh, I'll record it because I used to do that sometimes and uh, the last time I did was at least three years ago because they haven't had it for two years and um, I, the phone I had was you know not as it was like a Galaxy 8 or something like that and it just didn't have this is uh, I got the uh, what's that? Ultra no, S21 Ultra 5G phone is what is what mine is and it records in HD so <clears throat> if uh, if I'm able to record it, I will, and it'll look really good. Because I know a lot of you, they may have a ban on fireworks, and you may not be able to see any. So, but it, you know, it probably, I don't know if I can get it out tonight. Uh, I'll see how it goes. It probably won't be super long. They're like ten or fifteen minutes, something like that. And uh, you're just gonna lay on the tablet, huh? And uh, but hopefully, I'll get to record it, and that way some of y'all can. Well, you know, even if you've seen fireworks, you might want to see them uh, here. I don't know if I'll need to put, if it's really loud, it's really, really loud this close to it. I don't know if I'll have to put maybe music to it or something uh, to keep it from being so loud. We'll see. Anyway, um, I got a taste test this morning, a morning coffee break taste test, and Kitty's into everything. She's playing with the spoon. I got these snack packs lemon. Uh, it says made with lemon juice from concentrate. I like lemon stuff. Everybody knows knows me knows I like lemon stuff. Um, I got these down at Grocery Outlet for a dollar, but you can find snack packs anywhere. I've seen plenty of them at Walmart. They got even bigger ones at Walmart, but I don't know if they would have lemon in them. They got real big cups now. I don't know if y'all have seen those. Uh, I always like wanted more, more, you know? There's just a little bit in here, and you're like, hmm, I want more of this. So they got bigger cups now. Um, okay, if you have one of them, it's 110 calories. Two and a half grams of total fat is 3%. Uh, one and a half grams saturated is 8%. No trans fat. No cholesterol. Uh, 60 milligrams of sodium is 3%, 22 grams of carbs 8%, 1 gram of fiber is 3%, 17 grams of sugar and 17 grams of added sugar. That's really about the only thing that's, you know, 34% on that that's, that I need, would need to watch. I wouldn't want to eat more than one of them for myself. Uh, it's got, that's it. So... It doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup in it. So that's a, bit, a really good thing. At least if you're going to have sugar in it. I mean, you know, an amount of sugar in the uh, nutrition facts. So hopefully it's not all from uh, high fructose corn syrup. Well, what are we going to do? Okay, here's what it looks like. Kitty, I don't know if you like um, lemons. I bet you don't. I don't think. I don't think cats like uh, citrus stuff. If, if I'm, I've heard right about that. Okay. Kitty, you want to check it out? Mmm. Think you would like that? Hmm. She's like, hmm, hmm, I want some. <laughs> oh, man. Wow, it tastes, um, what's that? I mean, of course it tastes like lemons, but the, it's almost like, um, a lemon, like a lemon pie filling. 
would be. Matter of fact, this would be good in a pie. This stuff, of course, you wouldn't use a bunch of these for a pie. Be good with some um, Cool Whip or whipped cream on it. Mmm. It's real smooth, like. Yeah, I like that. Hold on just a minute. Okay. I really like this. Very, uh, like a real, real creamy consistency. Nice lemon flavor. It, it really does remind me of like a lemon a lemon pie. Birds out there. I gave him some seed last night. Kitty? You don't eat lemons, I don't think. Would you try it? Would you like it? I'm done. I mean, I'm not going to eat any more of it. Let's see. You, go, you like it? You want any more? She licked it. You like lemon? Kitties like it too? Say, she's smacking her lips. Do you want any more? Is that it? That's it for your for trying lemon stuff for kitties. She's not crazy about it. She, she's really not crazy about anything um, sweet very much. Like she'll taste it and lick around and, and she's, she won't really want any more of it. But it's only fair that you're here that she gets to try it too. But did you like it? You liked it? Okay. Well, I give that a five out of five. It's definitely really good. Okay. I need my tablet. Okay. She uh, is not usually, if, as y'all know, she's not usually up here for morning coffee break. She is asleep. She wants something to eat, probably. But she's being nice about it. Yeah, she's just going to be patient. All right. Uh, experts caution beachgoers ahead of white shark season. Cape Cod researchers are reminding visitors that warm weather attracts the great white sharks. The animals are a constant presence from June to the fall. They flock on the Atlantic Ocean facing side of the Cape where they feast on seals. Beachgoers are advised to be vigilant near beaches where the shoreline quickly drops off into deeper waters. Windy weather cancels drone light shows in California. I would really like to see one of those. I really would. This, the holiday weekend drone light shows at Kings Beach and Tahoe City in California were postponed due to adverse weather. According to NWS, wind gusts at flight levels are expected to be higher than allowable limits for the drones to fly safely over Lake Tahoe. The Kings Beach show was scheduled for July 3rd and July 4th in Tahoe City, California. Yeah, wind would be a big problem with those drones. Second minor earthquake in 24 hours shakes Elgin, South Carolina. And YC, you know, she's been on watching me ever since I started pretty much. Almost, I'd say. Um, but uh, she felt that she, the ground shake and the stuff in her, in her house and everything was, you know, stuff was shaking. Now, you know, that would be a scary thing. I know it scared her. So... So YC, did you feel this one here? Because this says uh, second minor earthquake in 24 hours shakes Elgin, South Carolina. An earthquake with a magnitude of 2.1 shook the ground near Elgin, South Carolina Saturday. The U.S. Geological Survey reported that the quake occurred at 11.59 a.m., 3.9 miles east of Elgin. It was the second earthquake in 24 hours in the region. 
there was another small 1.7 magnitude earthquake around 9, 10 p.m. Friday. Did you feel that too, uh, YC? It's, you know, it is very unusual, but they've been having earthquakes, uh, you know, in that part of the country. That's very unusual. Chicago pets in threat as hot summer spurs flea activity. Chicago, Illinois can see a spike in the flea population this summer due to high temperatures and humidity. Experts urge pet owners to be aware of the high itch risk and dangers of fleas, ticks, and other insects. A flea forecast mapped by the Companion Animal Parasite Council shows more flea activity in the Midwest this summer than in 2021. And I saw, and I, I didn't have it put it on here, but I saw where another uh, baby was left in a car, one year old, by his father. And of course, you know what happened. I just, it upsets me. And I, this, they said that was a ninth one now. The other day when I said it, I mean, when I had it on here, I think there was only five at that time, or five or seven. Now the, no, the, the, the number is nine uh, that this has happened. It, it's bad. Anchovies flock to San Francisco waters due to La Nina effect. Call them. Anchovies are seen in abundance along the coastline and streets of San Francisco, California. It is due to the colder waters from La Nina year, which created ideal food conditions and optimal breeding grounds for anchovies. I thought she was eating that down there, but she took off. Uh, also, coastal seabirds scooping up extra fish and dropping them inland caused reports of anchovies falling from the sky. Oh no. Fireworks ignite three acre brush fire in Houston, Texas. Why are you doing uh, fireworks in Texas? As, dr as dry as it is there, I thought that it was uh, illegal. Frugal Mama in the Woods. Uh, didn't you say that it was, uh, is it illegal everywhere to be shooting off fireworks? Uh, or is it just in certain areas? Uh, officials blamed the fireworks display for a three-acre brush fire Friday night in Houston, Texas. The fireworks in the Second Baptist Church, Cypress Campus, a part of their Fourth of July celebration, are believed to have ignited the grass in a neighboring field. Fortunately, the crews are able to contain were able to contain the fire quickly. No injuries were reported. Yeah, I mean, you know, if, if if it's been dry, it doesn't take much. I mean, there's even like a spark can come out of an exhaust of a car sometimes and even cause a, a fire. I can't imagine shooting off bottle rockets and all this stuff and you gotta land somewhere, you know, and anywhere that it would land, it could cause a fire, so I don't know, you know. I'm surprised that they did that. Okay, Alabama restaurant closed for wheatening after lightning hit. Okay, look at this picture. And I'll get back to this in a second. See this picture? <clears throat> Severe weather struck parts of Alabama this week. In Fairhope, a lightning bolt struck a restaurant named Locals, causing significant damage. All the electronics, including printers, Cables, modems, and outlets were destroyed while a few roof tiles flew off. No employees were hurt. The restaurant will be closed until Tuesday due to the damage. Well, this is a little more than a few uh, tiles off the roof here. This is like an earthquake. But I don't see how a, uh, I don't see how a uh, lightning strike did all that. What they're talking about is the lightning strike came in and went through the electrical you know, so it melted all the wires and stuff, you know, when the, the surge of all that power went through, it'll just melt, you know, everything in the circuitry and stuff. But they didn't say that it blew a hole. There's, there's no wall here. <laughs> you know, I've seen it. Didn't, so obviously this is some kind of stock picture of an earthquake or something. I, I, I don't know. I think they could have done a little better. Than that. It says a few roof tiles came off, but. That's a little more damage in there. <laughs> Watch the weather to win the Nathan's Hot Dog Contest. Oh, yes. Good old Nathan's Hot Dogs. Popular Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest is set for the 4th of July in Brooklyn, New York. 
and insiders believe the results may depend on the weather. Cool weather with low humidity tightens the food <laughs> and helps eaters consume, consume more. While hot and humid weather stresses the players, Monday is forecast to be mostly sunny with the highs and 80s. I'd, I'd, I'd like to see that. It's in, uh, surely they have it on TV. Uh, surely they will. On the 4th, y'all. <laughs> I don't see how they do it, really. I, I, it, it really, after a few minutes, it's hard for me to watch. <laughs> Eating that much. Ships sink off Hong Kong. As Storm Chaba passes, 27 missing. Oh, no. An industrial ship with 30 people on board snapped in two and sunk into the South China Sea as Tropical Storm Chaba passed through Saturday. Three crew members were saved, and rescue operations for the other 27 were ongoing. The incident occurred about 186 miles south of Hong Kong. The storm brought winds up to 89 miles per hour and waves as high as 33 feet. Wow, I hope they find, you know, uh, uh, quite a few of them or something, but the more time goes by, they, they probably won't, so that's terrible. Yeah. Be weather safe when celebrating the 4th of July. Here are seven tips for celebrating the 4th of July safely. Apply sunscreen and stay hydrated to beat the summer heat during outdoor celebrations. Take breaks inside or in shade to escape the hot sun. Have a storm plan as thunderstorms can strike unexpectedly in summer. Beach goers should be aware of rip currents. Avoid fireworks in drought areas. Well, yeah. Okay, did I show the pizza? Well, I'm not for sure if I showed the pizza, but uh, here it is, if I didn't show it. And it was great, actually. The crust on Totino's pizzas is different from other pizzas. It's kind of what the crust reminds me of is like the stuff that they make a chalupa out of. It's kind of not a tortilla, but it's not bread and it's airy. That's kind of like their crust is. And it, you know, it's a little different, but I do like it. And the more I ate it, the more I liked it. And um, I, I made a short, but it was like an accidental one. <laughs> but I mean I looked at it and I thought you know what it's only three seconds long but what the heck let's see what happens I don't know how many views it's got so far but uh, for some what I said was what <laughs> I was talking I guess you know and it just recorded that much so that's why it says pizza what and uh, you can play it over and over again if somebody's like saying stuff and you'll just be saying like what what but I did it last night for a while and Joy got she got tired of it. <laughs> so anyway, that's it for today's tidbits, everybody. And that's going to be it for this morning's coffee break. I sure hope you enjoyed it. Get you some snack pack lemon. They're really good. If you like lemon, you're going to love this. Tastes like a, a pie without the crust. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please press that like button. Also, uh, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, later on, I'll have that Ask My Tablet for everybody. And uh, we'll see what happens tonight with the weather and everything as far as uh, uh, recording the, the fireworks. So thanks for watching, everybody, and have a great day, and God bless.